This video is brought to you by GearForSale.com. Please hit the bell, subscribe. You'll know when the uh, next video is coming out. We really appreciate you subscribing to the channel. It helps us build up and make more videos. Today I want to show you a really amazing plugin. It's called the Townhouse Bus Compressor. It's made by a company called Brainworks. And basically this is an, another SSL style bus compressor, but there's more to it than that. I know Waves makes a great bus compressor, soft tube. I mean, there's probably a ton of really nice SSL bus compressor emulations out there. But let me tell you, um, BX Brainworks, who makes this with Plugin Alliance, they're just doing great stuff over there. Um, I don't know if you had a chance to check out the SSL uh, E-Series channel that they make and the SSL G-Series channels that they make, but I saw a, a video where the engineer said it is one of the best done plug-in channels that he's ever heard. He can almost not tell the difference between the console and the plug-in as far as EQ and all that other good stuff. With that said, um, let me tell you what this is. It doesn't look like your normal SSL bus compressor in the sense of the shape because it's in a rack form, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, but, you know, here's your standard meter that you see on every SSL console, and all the controls are the same except for a few, like auto fade, and um, this one added um, sidechain filter, which is nice. So, Townhouse Studios in London, which opened in the 70s, had an SSL Series B console, believe it or not, I think. But I believe what happened there was um, they wanted to have this compressor also as a rack piece. And SSL never made a rack version of it. So what they did, the story goes, <clears throat> SSL gave them the circuits, circuit boards, components, blah, 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 blah. And they built it into a rack. In fact... I have a picture of it. Let me get that. So this is the original bus compressor here. And this is the plug-in alliance one that we're looking at now. And here I even actually have a picture of the guys. At ta um, I'm not sure who this is who has it now. I think this is the new owner of it. He bought it on eBay, believe it or not, or something. But this is the actual townhouse bus compressor. I think it's the only one made in the world. Um, so Plugin Alliance got a, co a hold of it and they, they emulated it. They modeled it uh, from, from this unit. <clears throat> With that said, and giving you a little bit of a history of it, um, I'm going to tell you that it is a wonderful plugin. I'll take you through all the uh, controls. So you have a compressor in, compressor out, turns it on and off, obviously. Key in, obviously, that's your side chain, which did not appear in the original compressors. You have your threshold, your ratio, your attack, your release, your makeup, um, rate. Then you have this little button, auto fade, which is pretty cool. Um, when you push that button in, it fades it out, fades out the music really nice. I'll show you a demo of that. Over here you have a couple extra things. You have headroom. <clears throat> and headroom balances the, um, the level, the difference between the input and the output. So you could play with that and see how the um, compressor reacts to the music. It's pretty neat. The V gain button over here, that adds like saturation, I, I, I would assume is the best way of putting it. Distortion, saturation, whatever you want to call it. And obviously this is your sidechain filter. Then you can also mix how much compression you want in or out. I'm gonna leave it at 100%. And I'm gonna let you hear a little bit of this track without the compressor in.
so there it is. It, it just, it's that beautiful SSL compression that's, it's subtle, but it's warm and it fattens it up. Um, you saw what the headroom, you, you were able to hear what the headroom did uh, as I moved it to the input and to the output. It, it changes the way uh, the compressor reacts a little bit. Uh, the V gain, you know, it's subtle, but it, it definitely adds a little bit of that harmonic distortion. And um, now I'm going to show you how the auto fade button works. The auto fade. Let's try that. Now, the cool thing about this is you can also do a fade in. Watch this. So if you're doing like a live mix to another unit, or I believe you can actually automate this as well, but if you're mixing to uh, another DAW or, or outboard the tape machine or whatever, uh, you can use that auto fade feature. It's pretty nice. This is across the mix bus right now. And uh, yeah, just again, it's a great plugin. Brainworks Plugin Alliance. I love what they do. Uh, they have this pick pack thing. You can buy 10, choose 10 plugins. And I don't work for them. I'm just letting you know. You can buy 10 plugins. It's $29 a month. And after 24 months, you own them, which is great. And the other cool thing I like about them is you don't need an iLock and they let you um, install it on two or maybe even three machines. So, uh, you know, if you have one at home, you have one in your studio, you have one in your laptop, it's very convenient. So this has been a review of the Brainworks Plugin Alliance Townhouse Bus Compressor. Thanks for watching. See you soon. So, what can you buy and sell on gearforsale.com?